Ooh, we're playing a PlayStation game. Hello there, Dragon Ace. Welcome to the stream. Let's take a look at what we are getting ourselves into. Other than a black screen, I hope. Hey, everybody. Remember this video game, Victokai Inc.? It's my favorite game. I can't wait. And no, I can't pass this. Millennium Interactive. I don't think I even recognize that. The West, 1879. Hey, that's the the crow for Resident Evil, that's what that sound was. The the Saturn version. <laughs> Look at that texturing. Hello there, Anthasius, welcome to the stream. Welcome everyone to Silverload. This is uh, something of an interesting title from what I'm aware of. This is on the PlayStation and PC, but there are differences among the games. Wow. That look. So triangle takes and talks, square walks and looks, circle operates and sleeps. Now, this is something where I think the PC version gives you a sort of comic panel intro when you start the game, and I don't believe you get that on PS1, so please allow me to indulge you. Oh, and in addition, the PC's graphics uh, for characters and stuff, they look kind of like cartoony video game faces, but from what I've gotten in the instruction manual, except for maybe this guy, I think they're more realistic looking. But allow me to bring you the introduction. Because uh, I see Dragon Age saying west of where, but uh, let me help you with that. Somewhere in the west. You're welcome. Somewhere in the west, deep in the desert, and surrounded by perpetual storms, is a town called Silverload. Once a prosperous boom town, it hasn't produced any silver in years. The town's decline started with a disastrous earthquake and a strangely persistent drought that turned the land into a desert. Some talked about an Indian curse that said the mine was built on sa land sacred to the Skadi tribe. The tribe opposed the mine and were massacred as a result. Now the town has a bad reputation, and few go there except by chance. Those that do never stay longer than they have to. Those who have tried were never seen again. You are a bounty hunter who has been hired by some settlers to rescue one of their children. They claim that their son was kidnapped by the monsters of Silverlode. In town, you will discover its dreadful secret and how it's connected to the settlers. You must survive long enough to prevent the mysterious preacher, with a capital P, from carrying out his sinister plan and spreading the evil that has so far been contained. If you don't, however, you will become one of the many we'll never see again. There you go. That's our intro to this game. I'm excited. So triangle takes and talks, square walks and looks, circle operates and sleeps. What is this? Save and load? Left and right on the memory card? Can I just back out? What the hell? Oh, that saves? Cool. Alright. We'll do that. This game only has one save file, as far as I'm aware, and it overwrites. Oh. I have to press down to go all the way through all this stuff? Okay. Alright. Let us begin. Wait, press. So white is the highlighted one, not the yellow? Okay. Yeah, see, no intro. We're just in. That's it. So I use the D pad. Uh, it looks like I don't use the stick. I use the D pad for aiming my cursor. There's a, a kindly gentleman over here. So, triangle was it? Oh. Okay. Alright. So, 
X. Please go after my son. I'll pay you with my life, if only to see his face again. Uh, can I get subtitles? Start pauses, select options. Oh, I, I can turn it into text. Oh, that's frustrating though. I can't get both. Damn, because I, I really I'm having trouble making out what he's saying. I think I think I might have to do text. I'm sorry. But this would otherwise be an advantage of the PS1 version is you get to hear them talk. But I, I guess I'll go to text. My apologies. So now we can get acquainted with this kindly gentleman. Tell me about the town. Me and my son went into that town. Weird name is Silverload. We went there to buy supplies and maybe catch up on what's been going on. The folk there were very unfriendly. The place felt as cold as a graveyard. As we left that unholy place, I swear that storm followed us. Okay, how did you get here? We have been on the trails now for about a year. We were heading for the Frontier Mister. Frontier Mister? The, my dear departed wife and our son Ben have traveled with the Catlins all this time. After Mary, God rest her soul, died the, died, the Catlins kept me strong and helped me put it together with Ben. Keep it together. Tell me about your son. My boy will soon be nine years old. I pray to God you can bring him back to me. So he's the guy who's hiring me, I guess. About the raid. It was last uh, It was last night when they came screaming from that storm. It was as if they had come just for the children. John managed to get a shot at one of the raiders, but took a bullet in return, and now lies wounded in his wagon. The devils took Ben, and there was nothing we could do. I would go after them myself, but I dare not leave the others here unprotected. Devils! The storm... Fierce thing it was. I thought we were going to be swallowed up by the uh, by the sand. I thought I saw shapes moving in the storm, but I guess it was just the sand gritting up my eyes. I know better now. Press this for down? Yeah, wow. The, the Catlins? Did I already do that one? I've told you everything I know. Okay, devils? Devils in the bodies of men. Whoa. Eyes like the fires of hell. Lord, protect us all. I feel exhausted. Can you help? Uh, do I want to do that? I guess I feel exhausted. I'll give you what I can, mister. Do I just take everything? I have it, so I put it in the inventory? Okay. Okay, and back is... Oh, I, do, I select X. Got it. That's, that's tricky. I think. No, that's an item. How the hell do I... Okay, there it is. I press up to go back. Please hurry. I fear your time is running out. Nothing happens. Uh, alright. Circle is gears? Oh, that's right. It's for sleeping. Uh, walk. Can I can I walk away? How do I walk back? Okay, this could take a little bit of getting used to, but we'll we'll see what we do for here. So we have a couple of wagons here. I'll go into this one. We got people. How dare you come in here? Don't you think that we have suffered enough without you pretending that you'll help us? Joanne, my love, can't we give this man a chance? The stranger is all the help we have right now, and in my opinion, I believe that he will help us. Okay, so I guess we're gonna just chat it up. Ask about the raid. I tried my best to protect the children. I put a full load of lead into one of those raiders, and he just got right up again. Took a bullet myself. Lucky it missed anything vital. I tell you, mister, those creatures put the fear of God into all of us. They vanished with Ben into that storm, and there was nothing any of us could do. What about the town? Bill and his son Ben went into the town to get supplies, so I do not know much about it. Bill seemed pretty shook up, though, when he got back. Child? He is such a good boy. We can't. We just can't believe what happened. It was bad enough when Bill's wife died on the trail, but to have his Ben taken from him, too? Just terrible. 
Thank God no other children were taken. Storm. If you're going to make it through the storm, you'll need this. This compass has brought me luck during my travels, and, well, maybe it'll do the same for you. Can I just... There. That's kind of cool. Boom! Okay, I think I'm, I'm slowly learning the controls now. So, triangle, the chest, right? Am I doing it right? I couldn't possibly take that. A square, eyeball? No doubt full of junk. I thought it was... Do I just say goodbye then? Well, I'm stuck on like the first screen. Circle? Are you freaking... What, the, the gears? That's the open? It's not the, the, the hand? Okay, thank you, Dragon Age. That's freaking irritating. Thank you, you've solved the game. That's a child's toy you're taking. Yeah, I know. Jesus. Okay, thank you for that. I'm gonna cut that part out. Uh, now, here's the really obnoxious part. This is like straight up unfair. Grab where the bear used to be. I knew it. A simple thief is all he is. I think we gotta trust this feller, Joanne. Take him, mister. Keep him safe. Yeah, I got goggles, too. Okay, there we go. So now, goggles. ka -ching. Oh, that's cool. And then, compass. ka -ching. Got me a compass. Let's get out of here. Now I'll go out into the storm. You, my god, you have to be so precise where you collect. This is ridiculous. You saw me go out here earlier, didn't you? I've already been in the storm. Do I just click all the way up there? Okay, that's what I do. I click all the way up. Fine. Unbelievable. Here we are. So now you can see my compass pointing. So I want to go where the compass is pointing. I'm assuming it's going to be red. Let's see if I do this right. Now it's left again. Where the hell do they want me to click, man? Okay. Now it's straight ahead. Now it's right. Kind of rough going in here. Yeah, well, about that. I hope I didn't screw that up. I bet you I did. Either I solved it or I horribly game overed. I think we're good. Yeah, whatever, dude. Alright, I made it here. So, population, what is that? 15,000, 10,000, 293. Huh, what the hell happened here? Some kind of plague? Was that some kind of ghost I saw? <laughs> yeah, this place, wow, this is the entrance of the town. This place looks like hell. Whoa, what? Oh, I could pan. That's awesome. There's something moving around in there. I keep getting glimpses of it. Yeah, I am timed on this. If I take too long, I'm going to get jumped. Meanwhile, what? It is now my third night in this cursed town. Oh, my colleague Carl has gone missing. He was right after all. This place is haunted by things I dare not think about. I now know as long as we remain here, our sanity or our very lives are in danger. Oh dear. Well, here we are. Wouldn't exactly call it a ghost town. Seems lively enough to me. Yeah, well. Nothing happens. 
I'm assuming I walked toward the town. Meanwhile, what? <laughs> We're doing the meanwhile again? <laughs> Have you found our anthropologist friend yet? I want the anthropologist. I want him found in one piece. No mistakes. Do you understand? Or I will have you hung from your own intestines. Damn, okay. Ugh. Now I'm more than a little nervous, and I don't want to get jumped. I want to hurry up. So I'm actually going to go ahead and pause for safety. So... Okay. I'm in. Hey, look, it's a bell. Nothing happens. Do I walk up to it? Okay, welcome all. Well, that's just nice. Oh, that's cool. It's a fierce, ill-ridden night for some stranger to come calling at my door. Can I be of service to you, stranger? Uh, there's something outside. Oh, God. I would like somewhere to sleep. Would you now state your business here in Silverload, stranger? I'm on the trail of outlaws. I'm just passing through. I'm just passing through. Is that so? So you will not be staying long, then. It is two dollars to stay in the hotel. But you will have to surrender your gun to me till the morning. Or I can let you stay in the stables for 30 cents, and I'll let you keep your gun. What will it be, stranger? Uh... You know what I'm going to do? The stables will do. If that is what you desire. That'll be 30 cents, please. Thank you, sir. Well, ah, damn it. I bid you good night. Alright. So. Here. Now I'm behind the desk. Can I see anything around here? Aha. Uh -huh. And a key. Just robbing him blind. Let's step out. Let's go upstairs. Oh, this place looks like hell, doesn't it? I'm still gonna pause in case for some reason things jump me. Um Nothing happens. Well, key? No? Maybe it's this? Hmm. Well, this doesn't do it. Is it this? How far am I supposed to walk to make this happen? By the way, you like the shadow that I'm casting, which is pretty red? Why can't I open any of these doors? Also, do I need the compass anymore, I wonder? I wonder if this is I wonder if this is the problem. Nothing happens. Maybe I'll do this. I'll take the compass off, right? Maybe that's what I need to do. Yeah, maybe this will do it. No. This isn't helping me at all. I wonder if I should just pay the guy for the damn room. Well, maybe I'll just go to the stables after all then. Bye. Can I, how do I, whoops. How do I leave? There we go. Where are the stables? How do I actually, oh, that's moody, the window. 
But how do I get to the stables? It's not back out, is it? Ugh. It's so disorienting to try to leave. Like, where do I click to leave? There we go. It's so awkward. And that was just the stairs again. But how do I, like... Is that it? Okay, how do I get to the stables? Do I just keep backing out and hope to god I don't get jumped by scary monsters? Like, this is how I came in, but... How the hell do I... Is that it? Did I do it? This must be the stables. Oh god. Yeah, this place looks real nice. Alright. Let's go in the stable. Oh, this place looks like hell, doesn't it? I don't know about this. Uh, there? Yeah, stick. Get key. How do I look around? Where's the door? Nothing happens. Oh god, that's so intimidating. Stick? There. I've barred the door shut. How do you like me now? So let's sleep? How do I do that? Do I, do I use the... Is it on the hay or what? You like to think of skeletons just in here? Do I sleep on the hay? Like, how do I do this? Okay, there we go. What the hell? <laughs> Ah! 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 <laughs> Bye. <laughs> we got a grave. Oh, Dragon Ace, is my sack of cash like the one from Snatcher? It has as much money as we need? I'm not sure. I think it might actually have money in it. I could check. I could take a look. I'll look into that. There we go. Alright. Guess I'll leave. I was undisturbed. I can just take the stick back, which is kind of cool. Welcome to daytime, everybody. I like those people here. I'm still hoping I didn't miss anything. Because I'm still a little bothered that my key didn't seem to do the trick for anything. A whole lot of nothing happens. Now what am I going to do with this? Yeah, the chair, I think, was another thing. Oh, I can't even put it back. That's kind of funny. But the chair was something else where I could have stayed in a hotel room and then just put the chair by the the door I go in to secure it, which is amusing to me. I genuinely do not know how to get in these rooms, but oh well, I guess. So, let's go back out. I think I... Well... I missed what was going on out here. I genuinely wonder if I should reload just for that. But... Whatever. Anyway, I got myself my, my stick already. Let's go this way. Can I do that? Oh, in, in here? It's very hard to see where I'm supposed to click. I get an uneasy feeling, like I'm being watched. Oh, great. Alright, so just to make sure I need to see what I'm doing here. Uh, 
Yes, sir. What may I do for you? Do not take too long in deciding. I haven't got all day, you know. Uh, well, okay, but I don't think this is where I needed to be. Goodbye. How the hell do I leave? Why is it always hard to find out how to navigate around here? There's the barbers, grocer, and liquor. Well, I'm back at the hotel. I don't want to be here. Nothing happens. I'm assuming I do want to go down that way, that path. Because there's nothing else anywhere else. Well, this is the barber. Ah, good day to you, sir. How distasteful it is to have all that dust blowing about out there. I just bet my bottom dollar that a fine figure of a man like you is just dying for a wash and shave, hmm? Oh, Silverload, hmm? This time was suspicious about outsiders, mister. Not the friendliest of stays. Once this place was a wondrous jewel. That is, until... until the money ran out. You will not want to stay here long, sir. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But I'm still looking for something else. Yeah, going to the right just takes you back out front. So clearly that's not the way to go. Well, unless I want to go back near the stables, maybe that's my problem. This place is difficult to navigate. So if I go here... Yeah, here we go. This might be something. Oh yeah, this place looks great. I mean, cool looking aesthetic though, right? So... Sick knife. Sick frying pan. Good for me. How the... It's so hard to find out how to leave. Uh, keep going down shadier and shadier places. Guns. I couldn't possibly... All right. Nothing happens? Whatever, dude. I'm just going to go in then. I'll click the door. My, my. A customer. A and what may I do for you, sir? Feel free to browse about the shop. It's not often I get customers looking the way you do. Yeah, I do look kind of badass with my little gunslinger face. Good looking shop you have. Why, thank you, sir. I, I try to run a smooth, efficient shop here. Customers are a bit thin on the ground here. I'm thinking of moving on soon. How long you been? About four years. Look here, sir. I ain't against you bounty hunter types, but it's best you don't stay here too long. <laughs> this place sucks. Everything about this town sucks. Uh, but... Ooh. Bullet mold press. That would come in useful. That item will be $7, sir. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do this. $29. Why, th thank you, sir. There we go. Hope it comes in handy. Cool. Um. There. So that is, uh, Wilson and, really? Bullet Mold Press. Uh, it's the quickest, simplest way to make new bullet heads. Simply pour hot metal into the head of the Wilson and, now it says Riley, bullet press and close. Allow the metal to cool, then open the press. With a little tapping of the press head, the bullet will come loose. Bullet heads may require a little cleaning. There you go. So the instructions, I would hope, are free. Thank you very much, buddy. Uh, Alright, let's get out of here. That was cool. Goodbye. I think I just want to go back now. Shady looking place, isn't it? This whole place is gloomy as hell. Ugh.
Now let's go around the other way. Uh, yeah, the grocery store. Yeah, okay, I did pop in here earlier, but it's fine. And, yeah, do not take too long to decide. I haven't gotten all day. Uh, how do I look at things? Like, what do I... Do I just talk to you about it? Sir? Nothing happens. Well, how do I know where the hell to look? Yeah, I just left. Don't take as long as deciding, but deciding what? What if I go to the right? Like, do I just grab stuff off the shelf like this? Do you want to buy it? You should learn some respect. But, like, do I want to buy what? Can I buy that? That'll cost you $13. Well, hold on. A lantern. Yeah. I gotta get used to this. I gotta put my money on it, I guess. Thank you very much, sir. Cool. Here you are. Take a look for yourself. Stay out of trouble, mind you. Then you might just live to pay us another visit. Yeah. This place is brutal. What else am I looking at? A jar of oil. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Cool, I got me some oil. How much cash do I have left? I can't possibly have much. And I really gotta stop talking to this guy. It's driving me crazy. How much cash do I have? Eight bucks, 20 cents. Oh, man. Um... I could certainly do with the money. Yeah, but... A jar of candy... A spill jar of candy, right? It's very hard to see what the hell I could buy. Nothing out of the ordinary about that. Jar of candy. Bottle of medicine probably tastes like dog's water. What was that? Here? 30 cents. Do you want to buy it? Yes, I do, actually. Thank you very much, sir. Here you are. Thank you very much, sir. Mm hmm. I don't need any more. All right, we're good. I think I did it. So, let's get back out of here if I can. It's, ugh, I keep talking to this dude. Was it the left? All right, I think I'm. I think I'm moving along. I think we're doing this okay. Oh, Dragonus is a different key for room two upstairs. Thanks for the heads up. Uh, no, I guess not. I guess that would have been if I had bought a room, so I did not get a piece of paper in the upstairs hall. I guess I could run back and check that out. Hotel's right here. I guess I could just jog in real quick. It'll cost me two bucks to stay there, though. I don't know if I want to do that, necessarily. Was this this something? I got a chair. I don't see a piece of paper in the hallway, though. I got a piece of paper in the downstairs hall. And again, I don't have high hopes for this key. Can I just, like, look at it? Nothing happens well, thank you. Yeah, I don't think this was happening. I think this would have been if I had stayed the night, I suppose. If I was near the chair. I mean, it's a piece of wallpaper coming off, I guess. But anyway, let me step out. Let's get out of this place. We're slowly starting to move. Can I just not go that way? I mean, I guess this is where I've been coming from anyway.
General stores, barbers. Whoa, what the hell? Uh. Okay, can I just, can I talk to you? How do I get over there? So tired. Ugh. What are you looking at, mister? You'd be tired too if you had to lug this cart around all day. Can I help? I'd kill for a long, cool drink. Ah, that would do the trick. Yes, sir. Town. What do you want to know? I try not to take notice of the things that go on here. Loose talk costs lives, mister. What are you doing? I work here, taking things in and out of the town. They pay me okay. I have to take these supplies up to the mountain. What's on the cart? Just lots of tools we need. A hammer for smashing big rocks. That's my favorite, mister. Saloon? I'd rather be in there than out here. A cool beer would make me feel better. Oh, yes, sir. What's the saloon like? I think I just asked that. Okay. Goodbye. Curious. Speaking of which, is is that the saloon? Yeah. I mean... Clearly this didn't work out. I gotta back out. Do I just walk past the guy or what? Trouble awaits, that's for sure. Town Hall. Whoa. Did he jump or was he pushed? Yeah, that guy's hanging. I really get the feeling I'm going the wrong way. Like, where the hell is the saloon? Undertaker, greetings to you. Do you like our display? You look like a man who might appreciate a good undertaker like me. Like your picture taken, sir? Impresses the ladies. Okay. You know what? It's been nice talking to you, bro. I just want to get into the saloon. Like, where do I click to saloon? <laughs> That's the town hall, I know that. Whoops. I got my key. How do I go back? Ugh. Oh, look at you. A regular gun-toting mercenary. I'm rather busy and not in a good mood, my friend. So why don't you just move to the next town? I'm looking for work, etc. I get the feeling I'm in the wrong place. Where the hell do I go? Like, where do I go? Yeah, I'm back here, and I know, like, this is the saloon, isn't it? But if it is, then how do I get in? Like, if I click it, I just click the guy, right? So do I just, like, is the saloon just behind him, or what? Big fellow, not too bright by the sound of it, loaded with equipment. Like, how do I saloon? All I want to do is enter the damn saloon. It shouldn't be that hard. Nothing happens. Because I'm just going to click the damn guy if I hit that saloon. Is it, in fact, possible to navigate from this guy? Did that do it? Okay. Welcome, everybody. It's saloon time. I did it. So, let's go to the bar. Good day to you, sir. You look like you could do with a drink, my friend. Why, I just bet you could outdrink a horse. If there were any horses around here, will it be, friend? Ale. Prefer whiskey myself. So how do I, do I just talk to you? But yeah, give me a tequila, I need ale. Good choice, sir, that'll be 60 cents. All right, money. Hoof, 
running me uh running me dry here. Thank you, my friend. Hope you enjoy it. I need ale. Good choice, sir. That'll be sixty cents. Thank you, my friend. Alright. Got it. So let's step out. Up we go. If I can learn how to stairs. It's so hard to find out where to click. This game is very persnickety about how you navigate. Do I just click directly on the woman? A gunslinger, huh? Well, you look like a man who could more than take care of himself. What are you doing in Silver Load? So, here we go. I'm looking for a kidnapped child. And you think that this child might be here. Looks, we can't talk here like this. Go to the street outside and climb the tree to my room. For your sake, make sure no one sees you. How dare you. Get out of my sight. Forgive me. Okay. Being coy. <laughs> ah. Alright, I get it. You're walking away. Jeez. Okay. So now I know where to go, right? But... Now I'm back to Mr. Cowboy. Inventory. Ale. He holds his hand out for it. Ah, that was good. Another one. Inventory. Ale. Ah, that is better. Ugh, thank you, my friend. I am so tired now. And he is out of here. So. Ah, there you are. Grab the hammer. And got the crowbar. See ya. Now, let's go into the saloon somehow. I forgot how I did it the other time. Oops. How do I saloon? Do I just click on the guy again? I'm already forgetting. Oh, was it left? Was that it? Okay, here we go. Nothing happens. Yeah, but... She went back here, right? The door's locked. Yeah, well... How the hell do I... Like, why can't I get over there? It says go to her window, but like, how, how do you want me to do that? Oops. Can I just do it from the outside or what? I guess I'll just leave and see what happens. I don't know where to go from here. Oh, unless it's here? Thank God you came. I trust no one saw how you got in here. There is something terrible about this town that I should tell you. No other mortal that I have told these truths to has lived to tell the tale. Perhaps you are the one I have waited for all this time. Please do not think me mad, mister. Oh my God, it's him. The sheriff. Quickly, hide. Uh, where is there to hide? Oh, that's tough. There. How do you find that? Do you have to intrude upon me in such a manner? This is going to be intense. Shut it, Sheila. We have trouble. A gunslinger has made his way into town. I am telling you this because I do not want you trying on your usual tricks. Leave this little problem to me and my men. What if he's too much of a man for you? Then what will you do? You tramp. Stay out of this, Sheila. The preacher is growing impatient with all of us. I, for one, want to get the hell or out of this hellhole alive and in one piece. I'll wait because I stumbled on that one. Stay in your room and stay out of trouble. You can come out. Oh, you can come out now. This is freaking intense, man. How do I... Like, where do you... Okay, there we go. 
He may come back. Return to this room at sundown. I will have much to tell you. Now go and return to me later. Oh, man. All right. Let's get back out of here. If I could find out how to even do that. Oh, I went in the store. Nice. This game is way too particular about where to click. Okay, I'm back here. I'm backing out, as cool as this looks. Ugh, oh, this place is rough. But look, here we go. Wow. Pleasant place. Jeez. Okay. Well, let me help you down there, sir. Damn. Do I, like, put it in my hand or what? This should do it. Hand? I want to get off the screen if I could. Certainly a fresh one. Do I, like, he's the only thing I could click on, so do I, like, use it on him? Click on the guy? What the hell, man? How do I make this work? Unless... Do I... That's what it is. I climb up here. This is some image. Oof. Ugh, jeez, okay. Anyway, excuse me, my friend. Yeah, I got the rope. Jeez, let me let me get off this screen, for God's sake. I'm done with this place. Oh, wait, no, I don't, I don't want to leave. I want to go back into town. Even though I really don't want to go back into town. This place sucks. Okay, welcome back, right? Um... Now, I'm going to go back to that Undertaker. Oof. How do I get to Undertaker? Was this the right way? No, that's a way back. It's so hard to navigate this game. I think I just went in the town hall. Yeah, I don't want to do this. How do I not? How do I not? Private property, keep out. Fair enough. I'm keeping out. I'm keeping out. Okay, I think I'm doing it right. Good day to you, sir. May you bring me much work. Wow. This is freaking amazing. All right, so, how's business? Oh, yes, sir. Lots of people are attacked by beasts in these parts. I do them a good service. Sturdy, cheap coffins make the bodies look fine and dandy. Who are they? Mad Dog Saunter and his companion, Wild Man Hook. Two very dangerous men from the city. Bank robbers. The sheriff bagged the two of them. Nice, clean wounds. I like it that way. Less messy. Maybe you would like a picture with them. Cheap price, sir. About town? It's not for me to say. Let's just say I'm never short of trade here. Jeez. I'd like my picture taken? The cost of a picture is 50 cents, sir. You pay me now, then I go get my camera. Well, tell me the sheriff. The sheriff kills nice and cleanly. He has an eye for a good kill. He has killed 30 men in the past two years alone. Wow. Uh, well, I chatted him up, right? So... Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm gonna do? Options? I don't think I can mess this up, but... Saving game. Oh, have a lovely night, Winterburn. Alright, so... Oh, overwrite, yes. Whoops. 
I'm used to just clicking it and it goes. I forgot I have to overwrite because I already saved before I started anything. Uh, let's get out of here. Oh yeah, and Dragon Age wanted me to read that, read that paper I took from um, the beginning of the game. Oh, for God's sake. Goodbye. Now I'll do the paper. Hotel Silverload, 1871. Mr. and Mrs. Chapel? M. Ball, A. Barnabas, Pitor Greens. Can't read, can't read. All right. It's just like the people who are staying there, I suppose. But anyway. Can I talk to you, dude? Come on. All right, fine. I'll back up and then I'll chat him up again. Here we go. Good day. Maybe me which for. I'd like my picture taken. Cost of picture is fifty cents. You pay me now, and I'll get my camera. So I'll get my bag of cash. Here you go. I go get my camera. You stay here. I'll be back. So now he leaves. I quickly grab the hook hands. I quickly grab. You stand over there by the bank robbers, and I take your picture. That is good, sir. Now stand very still. Did he do it? Very good. You will take. You will like the picture. Uh, I'm gonna reload the game, but I, I I would love to see this actually. That was not much time. I like another one. Uh, whoops. I mean, I got the hook, but can I not look? I mean, that's a grim image. I'll I'll be real here. That's pretty badass, but. Where, where was, because he mentioned Mr. Hammer, Mr. Hook, or whatever, but, like, where's the hammer? Jeez. Good clean wounds makes it easier to clean the bounty, but where's the hammer? I don't even see. Like, we got Mr. Hook hand, where's the hammer? Oh, I do see it. I sure could do with that hammer. Got it. I will... Options. I'll see if I can get them both in one go. If I really can't, then I'll simply take two pictures. This is some game, man. But this is why I saved. I like my picture taken. 50 cents. Inventory. I, I'm really going to have to move. One. Two. What you do not get much time. Cool. All right, I got me a picture, but that's freaking intense. So I think I'm good to just get out of here. Uh, back out. Okay, there's the town hall and everything. Is it like up here? Or do I go here after all? In here? Welcome to Silverload. This place doesn't look so hot. Where do I click to go anywhere? Oops. There's like nothing I could click on. They lead off into that storm. I better know where I'm heading. Yeah, I don't want to go that way. I guess I'll go back. Back from here, maybe? Okay, so I'm over here. Jail's locked up. Wonder where that scum of a sheriff is, uh, is now. There's the town hall. These storms. 
Because it says, um, go to the latter half of the main street and walk between the saloon and the town hall. So, like, didn't I do that? Like, this is the saloon, right? And the town hall's over that other way. So wouldn't it just be this? Continue walking left past the livestock place? But what livestock place, right? That's the town hall. Like, left just takes me back to the saloon. And if I go back here, if I go out, I think I just leave. Because there's the barbers, and I don't want that. So that's the saloon where I don't want to be. I back out. Like, I do think I need to go up here, but it's so awkward finding out where to go from here. Because if I go this way, then what do I see? Town's Railway. Getting closer to the mountain. Yeah, I think I do want to just go back, but I, like, I'm confused about where to find a path. Unless this is something? Ugh, what a nuisance. Trouble awaits, that's for sure. Saloon. Oh, dead or alive. I don't know who that is. Huh. That's cool. I like the detail in this game, but it's so painful about where you click to do anything. Like, I'm mashing X, and it's hard to find anything to actually accomplish here. Uh, compass. I don't think, like, the compass is going to be useful for this. Statue looks like it was burnt. Here's the town hall. Did this do it? Did I do it right, or did I just click the town hall? No, this is something. How the hell do you know to click here? Like, this is absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, let's ignore the livestock for now. Blacksmiths? Jeez. Do I have enough inventory? Rope. There we go. Going down at the rope. I got me a bucket. Get back out. Take the rope back. You like that? Go back. If I could find out how to go back. Ooh, nope. <laughs> The middle of the freaking desert, like King's Quest V? I don't think so. Keep going back. Okay, here's Livestock Place, right? Looking pretty good. Let's go in. What the? What? Do I take damage or something? D uh... That was weird. There's something I was looking for, though. Oh, those little imps on the outside attacked me? That's what that was? Nothing happens. The chains are designed to winch pigs up here. Yeah, but shouldn't there be... Yeah, like, isn't this one hanging? Do I use the, use the, there we go. All right, uh, I, I apologize in advance. This is going to get violent. Like, not joking. Now, why would I want to do that? But I thought I was actually supposed to. I can't walk over to him. 
Is there, like, elsewhere I can look in this place? Because it... Really? Oh! Well, maybe that pig gets to live, then. Maybe that's my problem. Maybe I can just take this dead pig. Right? I, I assume. Never thought I'd become a butcher. Sorry, pig. He's already dead, though. He's already dead. Anyway, I got the, uh, the bucket. Now I have a bucket of blood. So, let's leave. I'm sorry for this one that I hung up here, but he, he gets to live. He gets to live. Blacksmiths? Ooh, look at that. Get away from me! I'll kill you if you come near me! Arrgh! I can't control myself! Bucket of blood, bro. Jeez, he's chugging it. May God have mercy on my soul for what I have become. Ugh, thank you for trying to help me. I have to be far from here. Try and kill myself. Damn. What? Whoa. All right. We're, we're moving along, actually. I don't know how you figure out anything at all in this game, though. <laughs> Meanwhile. And I do kind of want to hear this game again with voice acting. Our time is almost upon us. Tomorrow night all shall be in place. Yet I foresee chaos within our order. Chaos, my lord? That gunslinger. He has become a liability. He could ruin our plans. Your men should have killed those settlers when they took the child. I want you to use all the powers at your disposal and rid me of this worm. Uh-oh. Alright, anyway, I'm back here. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on just a little moment. Book. Also, actually. 1379 or 18? My partner, Leo Remington, and I head toward the town of Silverload, apparently a place of much local superstitions. We're on course to pick... Yeah, it's 18. We're on course to pick up and catalog a number of native remains. Leo has not questioned the nature by which these remains were unearthed. I myself suspect there's some dark secret to hide, an embarrassing incident in the acquisition of land. The journey to Silverload has been a hard one. I guess I could have turned the pages for the other things I read. The train was barely functional even before the storm came upon us. A giant man came calling for us. We were to be taken to the town on foot. We were presented with the town mayor's seal as pr proof of his trustworthiness. We were taken through the storm that seemed to part as we moved through the swirling dust-choked air. How had the mayor gotten help to us so soon? Leo seemed not to care. We were told by our hulking guide that we need to hurry in order to reach the town before nightfall. The town of Silverlord was not a pretty sight, huddled in the shadow of the dark mountain. It was not much better once we were in the town. I caught fleeting glimpses of twisted faces in the shadows. I felt the only thing keeping those hungry eyes at bay was the remaining rays of sunlight that filtered through the swirling clouds. We were taken before the mayor, who was flanked by the town preacher. He seemed to me as death personified. It seemed that they were uncomfortable in our presence. They did their best to mask their unnatural features. Their eyes, however, they could not hide. We were informed that the artifacts were kept in the hotel basement. We were to ship out the remains in three days' time. A shiver of panic swept through me at the prospect of spending such a time in this wretched place. Leo now spends most of his time cataloging the grisly remains. Spelled wrong, like a bear. Maybe my time here has unhinged me, but I hear strange voices. In a tongue I do not understand, yet tones I recognize as accusations. Of murder? Bullet holes prove my theory of ill deeds. I suspect the mayor here cannot wait to get rid of such evidence of murder. Last night I had a nightmare. Visions of people screaming. Men, women, and children, all slaughtered. At the center of the horror was the preacher, the devil himself. We had been actively discouraged to leave the hotel, yet I was filled with a burning curiosity to explore this strange place. God damn, this keeps going. I was being watched. Maybe the vultures that circled the streets were there to pick at my psyche, to feast on the remnants of my wavering sanity. Most of my questions were met with distaste until I happened to cross the saloon and a woman named Sheila. She told me I was in grave danger here, and that a crime most horrible was long ago committed here, and that eternal suffering was the only punishment worthy. Those words meant nothing to me, and as I quizzed her, she began to sob and change from before my very eyes. 
I fled in terror of the monstrous sight. I heard her calling to me as I ran. It is difficult for me now to now remember the order of events from here on in, but I must try and write them down. At first I thought the uh, savage hounds had been set upon me, yet I remember looking back to see beastly figures coming after me. The air was filled with the sound of howls. I ran with my heart pounding in my chest, threatening to burst at any second. I came across a small child. I think it was then that I was attacked. Something came at me like an animal. It tore at my neck and arm. I pulled my revolver and fired wildly. I know not uh, if I actually hit anything, but at least it made my escape possible. Somehow I have made it here. Here seems to be an abandoned storehouse. I grow weaker by the minute. A fever. A terrible change has overcome my body. I must try and warn Leo about the danger here. If I am unable to escape, I will hide my journal in the hope that someone finds the book and alerts others. Thank goodness. Compelling read, though, you gotta admit. But I'm not done here. I also require... Well, I'll put this away. I also require... Shovel. Tongues. Bye. That's what I wanted. Let's get out of here. If I can find out how to leave. Was it to the right, or does it matter? Left. Am I doing it right? Nope. I do need to go to the right. Oh god, is it getting dark? This sucks. Um... Yeah, livestock, just ignore it. Okay. Here we are. Now. Tongues. Do I do this? Nothing happens. Monstrosity of a statue. I can see something glittering under the statue. So I guess I clicked the wrong part of the statue. Gee, it's so hard to click right, but I did it. Now, town hall. They didn't want me in, but I'm past the point of carrying. Crowbar. That's pretty cool. Oh, I, I like these animations, I gotta say. Oh, look at this place. Nothing happens. How do I upstairs? Okay. Whoa. Oh, that's awesome, and very American Werewolf in London, but that's freaking cool. That's great. I should probably not be here. No, we're fine. Don't worry about it. But that was that was actually pretty awesome. Um, okay, so... There's something in the pocket of the jacket. A key. Got it. A little heart key. And now, key drawer. Oh, look, another key. How obnoxious. The mayor's journal. This should explain a few things. Here we go. Frederick F. or P. Hasslinger. March 1860. Land rights are established. Mining operations are to begin as soon as possible. The preacher here has already begun the construction of a church. This is good for the m moral morale of the workers. Tomorrow night we hunt the wolves and seem to thrive in the woodland. All is well. Oh, that's great. May. We're all going to be rich. It has been discovered that the stream of silver that runs through the mountain is indeed a rich one. It has been declared that the name of our... Declare that the name of our newborn town be that of Silverload. A queer name, I admit, but one I am proud to be living under. Our erstwhile Sheriff McAllister keeps a firm control over the growing population here. Oh, damn. Look at this. These are great pictures. November, 1862. Indians came into the town a few days ago asking for livestock, saying that this is their land. Their land, indeed. Only last night we have discovered several horses and livestock gone. 
The preacher tells us that the natives are godless creatures that live by an unholy law and that they must be driven away. Oh boy, here we go. McAllister has organized a posse of men to drive away the intruders. I, in my role of mayor, will accompany his group. November. May men, women, and children all slaughtered. We found the natives camped out by the west side of the mountain. McAllister and his men went crazy with bloodlust. I was swept along with it, as if my very mind itself was turned into some kind of beast. The braves fought back, but they were easily cut down. I saw McAllister after the heart of a woman to the preacher, or offer the heart of a woman to the preacher. Dear God, what kind of man is the preacher? I was powerless to resist. I myself had done such things that I dare not put into words. The tribe had a medicine man. He and a handful of natives escaped. Oh, boy. The attack. They were pursued by the preacher and the sheriff. I later heard that some kind of shrine was discovered atop the mountain. It was there that the witch doctor was killed. A few nights ago, a terrible storm came upon the town, tearing houses from their supports. Those who were able to make it through the winds sought sanctuary in the church. What happened next seems like a nightmare, yet the howls, screams, and gunshots outside these walls serve to remind me just how awfully real all of this is. The doors the church... The doors of the church were blown open, and in walked the ghostly figure of a man. This man spoke in a great booming voice. He accused us of the murder of his people. He spoke of the wolves, and the... Oh, here we go. And the natives. This demon also accused us of the rape of his land. We were all to be punished. Terrible agony overcame us. I saw people change before me. Dear Lord, no more. December. It has since been discovered that we are trapped here in this blighted place. Several of our number tried to leave the perimeter wall, only to be violently ill. Silver is also burning to the touch, and must be handled with care. The preacher had most of our stock dumped in the mine. In our newly acquired altered state, we are much harder to kill, but killed nonetheless we can be. A new town order has arisen. The preacher at its head. An organization, or cult, has been formed. The preacher tells us the only way we could survive this... Yeah, so the irony is this silver town, the silver is going to be their weakness because they're werewolves. Chaos is to obey his word. To disagree means certain death. October next year. Everything is running as planned. Now rebuilt, Silver Lotus attracting some sort of population. We must do something about that damned status in the statue in the town square. Struck by lightning during that dark day, our once proud miner now is a recoiling posture of horror. Infernal thing. We now hunt those who would not arouse suspicion at their loss. We try to keep up the pretense of a normal town. We must never reveal ourselves. June next year. A no-good city official has arrived in the town. His curious, outgoing attitude is beginning to alarm us. The man, Justin Moore, is accompanied by his wife and their... Here we go. Adopted child. A half-native brat. The preacher has declared they conveniently disappear. June. Today, Justin Moore and his wife have been killed, shot down by the sheriff and his men. The incident was not without his blunder, though. The brat has escaped. The three should have been killed at nightfall, yet they were already trying to... Ooh, this is traumatic. Escape the town after discovering we were onto them. It was then or never. At nightfall, they would not have had a chance. We should count ourselves fortunate it was only a child that escaped, as no one would believe his story. Today, the first operation to reopen the old mine was started. With the aid of human workers, we make good progress. The preacher has started bizarre experiments in his house on the hill. They sometimes include the use of magic and sacrifice. Sometimes children. The thought of such sacrifices make me shudder. July 1879. I think that's this year now? One of the anthropologists that was sent here by the preacher has disappeared. This is ill news indeed. Oh wow, full on mad science. That the two were supposed to leave with those cursed native remains. Remains that still contain spirits that interfere with our work here. A search to find the fool has begun. I only hope we find him soon, or I fear the preacher's wrath. The preacher has given word that he is closer than ever to escaping the binds of this infernal prison. He is... Oof. To hold a ceremony tomorrow night. All the order is to be there. There is no doubt that some sort of sacrifice involves. Maybe that child that was taken from those settlers. So that's the kid we're following. A gunslinger has made his way into the town. The task of disposing of this man may prove to be difficult, yet dispose of him we must. Oh, man. Is that the end? This is, this is compelling. This is getting badass. Alright, let's step out. I might even stop in a moment. I'll finish this, uh... I'll finish this soon. So, I got the reading. Let's step back out. Okay. Now... 
I guess it's an improvement than what he became. Not much, though. Yeah, well... The frame contains a small keyhole. Where? I don't know. Like, come on. I know the frame contains a small keyhole. I was using the key. Did I accidentally hit square? Like, where's the keyhole? Help me out. Nothing happens. Yeah, well... Was that the keyhole, though? Was, like, was this it? Yeah, over there, I guess. That's nothing happens? Other key? I don't freaking know. Nothing happens, huh? But it should be... It should be this key. That the one I just got. That's obnoxious. This should have been it. I couldn't possibly take that. Oh, okay. I clicked the key and unlocked it. That's what it was. Got it. Alright, so I think you see what we do now. Switch. I heard that you did it right sounds, but... Nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, there it is. I don't know how you would figure that out, but I got it. And, is this something? The horizontal part? No. There we go, now we're talking. So, there, in we go, right? Can I go in, please? How do I, how do I, how do I go in? Give me a damn break, like, clearly there's a green light, how do I get in? Okay, that's where I click, the, the top part, obviously. Whoa. I don't know about this place. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Just what power does that ball hold? Uh, I'll tell you what it doesn't hold. Power! Uh, nothing happens. That, uh... Come on. Whoa. That should put a stop to the preacher's spying. Yeah, there you go. How do you like me now? Step back out. Oh, jeez. Sorry? Someone's going to be pissed. Filled with some kind of dust. Got another scroll, right? Wow, okay. What kind of sick place is this? Ceremonial items. I'll take that. There we go. Let's get the hell out of here. This place is crazy.
All right, I'm leaving. Feels good to be out of this place. I mean, as good as it can be, right? Uh, no, I want to go back. Yeah, I think I'm doing it right. Was it no? The left, no, the left took me back to this street. I don't want to be here. I want to just go back. If the game will let me leave. Yeah, now I want to go right, right? Okay, we're back at the hotel. I will save. Okay, saving game. Here we go. Over right, yes. Okay. Oh, it's a saving game again? Well, no, I'm not going to overwrite. Okay, I think I'm going to stop here, and we will wrap up this game next time. So thank you very much for watching the stream, and have a wonderful night.